We are almost three weeks into the meet at the Saratoga Race Course, and the winners off the track are local businesses. News 10 ABC's Anthony Krelikowski shares their upbeat outlook on the financial impact of thousands of visitors. When the horses aren't out to race, downtown Saratoga gets a turn of tourism. Cafes, bars, and more putting in their best efforts to leave an impression for the spa city. Over at the wine bar, happy hour was in full swing before dinner. When it comes to the track season, co-owner Melissa Evans couldn't be happier. I do believe that, and my numbers are showing also, that first two weeks of track season, have definitely been higher. Uh, the numbers are up this year. Evan says this time of year is more than just a busy season. For her business, it can be make or break when balancing the slower part of the year. In the winter time, it's tough because everyone's open and you're kind of competing with the people that want to go out, you know, in the cold weather. We have to kind of jam for two or three months and try to make our money as much as possible. Spot Coffee says that no matter the season, they still get the business they need. The upstairs guests that live in the apartments above, they kind of like, I think they migrate south and then our southerns come up for track. And so there's a little bit of a difference in just the flow of regulars that are in here. On Caroline Street, the bars prepare for the late night crowds. For Saratoga City Tavern, they have more than just a few floors to tend. Since Friday, Saturday, we are open all five floors. We are at 100% from 9 p.m. till 2 in the morning. While out-of-town visitors add a needed economic boost to business, without those local to the area, manager Jasper Graves says downtown wouldn't be what it is for those who just come for the track. We do have a great community here. They give back to us all the time. They keep our lights on. Reporting in Saratoga Springs, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10 ABC.